Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we have been talking about the uh, point-in-time restore, which is a vastly superior reset option, eventually coming to the Windows 11 PC. This hopefully will make it better and easier for everybody that wants to uh, fix a PC that just doesn't start after maybe an update or if you've installed a new piece of software or maybe you installed a new driver. But another option that will be interesting also, and this one will be more of an automatic process, is that if your PC crashes in the restart options when you, uh, of course, get into the recovery, because that's the way it happens, is that your PC will... Um, be basically um, get into a state where it doesn't start. And if there's nothing that you do, after a couple of tries, your PC will go into its um, official um, recovery mode. And in that recovery mode, of course, we did talk about the quick machine recovery option and now a point-in-time restore option. But now there's also going to be something new we talked about a cloud um, fix. Basically, when your PC crashes, there will be a option where your PC can connect to the internet in the recovery mode and go and check for a fix. It's going to send some diagnostics of what's crashing, and it's going to fix itself by downloading files that the um, operating system uh, things is broken and um, will rebuild part part of it, and now they are saying that the cloud and they're calling it cloud rebuild capability, the cloud rebuild capability in Windows 11 when it crashes will be even better. Apparently, it's going to be able to fix a big chunk of broken Windows without you interacting. It's just going to say, well, you know, contacting the servers, Microsoft diagnostics checking out what's broken, downloading the files it needs, rebuilding what it needs, and that is the second option to um, basically try to make sure that your Windows PC will always be functional. And once again, I think this is sometimes, you know, when things happen, they happen for a reason. And one of them I think that's good is that famous, once again, that famous crash where millions of PCs in 2024 just couldn't start, it kind of woke up Microsoft into a, you know what, when the PC crashes, we don't have an easy way to bring it back, especially for people that don't have technical know-how. So they're hoping that both with the cloud rebuild, which will be an automated system, and the quick machine uh, recovery options like point-in-time restore and so on, you know what? Something might actually fix your PC in an easy way, not always having to call the tech guy, not always having to need help. Um, and I think that is something that's greatly needed in Windows, a, uh, you know, a resiliency where your PC doesn't start, it's going to be able to fix itself in some way. Um, and I think these are cool options, and I think that Unfortunately, there had to be some kind of major issue that was a worldwide issue, even though it was, you know, a very small number of PCs that didn't start. It was still millions of PCs because of the sheer number of Windows PCs out there. Uh, but I'm glad that it kind of woke up Microsoft to, uh, you know, okay, we need to do something when PC crashes uh, so that we can have all the PCs come back online as fast as possible. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.